Hello, welcome to the first in a new series of videos demonstrating the new Savage Worlds 3.2 rule set for Fantasy Grounds 2. To begin, I shall run through the process a GM would use to enter a PC into Fantasy Grounds. For this demonstration, I will be using a pre generated character, Buck Savage, which I downloaded from the Pinnacle website. So while I'm entering this basic data, I'll go over one of the first big changes that's been added in 3.2. Um, in a minute, when I try and set the XP using the mouse wheel, uh, the numbers won't scroll. This is due to a, a change where you can lock it. So if I go into Preferences, you can see there you've got the option of using Control Shift or Alt, or you can just set it to whenever the mouse wheel scrolls it or to Always. So I'll change it to Always, and now I can just use the mouse wheel to change the figures. Again, that's been added in, and uh, it's easy enough to change back and forth, but it does catch you out sometimes. So we'll just carry on setting the stats. Um, here I'm just using the mouse wheels, but you can still pick up the dice and drop them, which I'll do on for Vigor. Personally, I tend to use the mouse wheel for most things, except for adding damage for some reason. Okay, now we'll open up the skills. So if I actually open up the skills, I can drag and drop them into the skills tab, which will create links so you can still open up the skills. You can just create entries and enter them manually without any problems. So we'll just add the skills in. When we get to Guts, uh, it's already been removed, it looks like we're heading towards Jelux already, so we'll just c manually create the skill Guts, type the name in, and add the dice to it. And we'll carry on adding the skills in, and then we'll do the same thing for the edges and the hindrances. This, this part hasn't changed much since uh, the last version of Fantasy Grounds, but just for a, a completeness, I'll just finish off this character. There we go. So we'll open up the edges and hindrances. What I'll do is I'll minimise them to create shortcuts um, on the desktop for them, so I don't have to keep going back into the list. And we'll start with the hindrances. But the first one I'm looking for is where has it gone? Is uh, heroic? Ah add it to edges so I'll just drag it across the hindrances and delete it from edges. And we're looking also looking for two more and we'll just add those in. Mean and stubborn. So in they go. I don't need that anymore so we can close that. Now we'll head to edges. Okay the first edge is brawny which is a background edge. So we'll open up backgrounds, we'll drag brawny and drop it in. The other two edges are combat reflexes and rock and roll which are both in combat so we'll just go to combat. Combat reflexes up the top there, drag and drop, and then down to rock and roll. So that's the edges and hindrances done. So then we'll uh, move on. Uh, according to the character sheet, he speaks English, Arabic, and Spanish, so we'll just add that to the notes. Interesting mix. And we'll up to the uh, main window to deal with the weapons. The armor and powers tabs are, are there as normal. So we'll just uh, deal with the weapons now. In the old days you just manually create the weapon entries but now in uh, 3.2 uh, weapons and armor are drag and drop. Uh, he isn't wearing any armor but we'll head on down to hand weapons. So the first thing to add is a machete. So we'll look through the list. Uh, we don't need those. We'll just minimize them. We're looking for modern but uh, machete isn't there. Okay so we could create one or we can uh, cheat so what I'll do is if we'll go back up um, to uh, medieval blades uh, short swords should do it so we'll go up to uh, medieval blades uh, we'll drag and drop the short sword in there we go if you click on the link in the end you can see it's got a description there it's got the damage is strength plus d6 and it's auto calculated because he's got a d8 in strength but now what we'll do um, what the damage to be so now what we'll do is we'll uh, change short sword to say machete and obviously now the weapon notes don't match so we'll delete those and this will actually update the entry so when we look on the link again now you can see it says machete but damage is still strength plus d6 the next thing he's got is a tommy gun so we'll go back into uh, ranged weapons and it doesn't own the table with the tables at the bottom there and we'll close those down again so what we're looking for is a modern submachine gun and there should be tommy gun somewhere up oh, there it is we'll drag that and drop it on there we go and open up the link again all the details are in there and that's the Tommy gun um, keyed in for you 
So I'll quickly turn back on the mouse wheel editing and preferences and then we'll set uh, bennies. Now I could just click the bennies in the old fashioned way but there's a much quicker way to do it. If I go to the character selection screen I just click in this little square to the uh, up the top there and it automatically sets the correct number of bennies for the character. Three bennies. Uh, this is a much quicker way of doing things. Now also if we add in a couple of edges, uh, luck and great luck, it will actually automatically calculate the edges. So if I just go into background and then I'll find luck and add that in. And then I'll go back to the edges, uh, the character list screen. I'll open up great luck for, to, for a minute. So if we go back to the character edges screen, click on that. He's now got four bennies automatically entered. And if we uh, go back to edges and add in the great luck edge, we'll just drag and drop that in. And then go back to that screen, click. He's now got five edges. And this is automatic and it's dynamic as well. So if I delete the uh, great luck edge and the luck edge, and then reset the bennies again, it automatically sets them to three. Very useful setting that uh, very quickly lets you set up stuff. The last thing to do is set a portrait. This is all in GM mode, don't forget. So just find Buck Savage's portrait. I've got quite a few in here. The old days you'd have to create a second session and open it up or hack around with file names. It's a bit easier now. You just find the portrait, drag it, drop it. Nothing appears to happen, but once you close it all down and then open it up again, there you are. And that's the portrait set. So that's a uh, crash calls in creating a character highlighting the changes in 3.2 I hope you enjoyed it and uh, we'll get some more videos made as soon as possible highlighting some of the other changes next we'll do the combat tracker thank you bye